At every opportunity, Joe Biden has turned his back on Israel, most recently refusing to sanction the International Criminal Court following their politically motivated targeting of Israeli Prime Minister Bibi Netanyahu. The ICC must be immediately sanctioned. That is why today House Republicans will bring Chip Roy's bill, the Illegitimate Court Counteraction Act, to the House floor to ensure needed guardrails to protect Israel and all our allies from baseless, undemocratic attacks by the international bureaucrats of this illegitimate court. On other issues with regard to the ICC, we are on the floor this week. The House will be passing legislation to sanction the ICC for its outrageous efforts to arrest Israeli officials. The idea that they would issue an arrest warrant for the Prime Minister of Israel, the Defense Minister of Israel, at the time where they're fighting for their nation's very existence against the evil of Hamas as a proxy of Iran, is unconscionable to us. And as I said a couple of weeks ago, the ICC has to be punished for this action. We cannot allow this to stand. If, if the ICC was allowed to do this and go after the leaders of countries whose actions they disagree with, why would they not come after America? You already have leaders around the world in, in smaller countries who take issue with things we do around the globe. Why wouldn't they then... Uh, issue arrest warrants for the, the next president of the United States or any of our, our defense officials. Why not? We have to stand against it. We can't allow bureaucrats to make decisions about what we're doing and, and come and have this authority. So our legislation, is, uh, which will have bipartisan support, will apply visa restrictions and economic sanctions to anybody at the ICC trying to investigate, arrest, detain, or prosecute protected persons, including U.S. allies. It's a really important step for us. We know the president doesn't like to listen to us, but I, I hope that he'll listen to the members of at least his own party who are denouncing the ICC and calling for action. President Biden ought to recognize the danger of letting them pursue these illegitimate investigations and uh, the need to sanction the ICC in response to that. Thank you all for the time this morning. Thank you.